All right, so this is a par four, 402 feet, and I can feel a tiny bit of a tailwind. Um, so I'm gonna take my grace and I'm just gonna smash this because in order to get over the out of bounds up there, you have to throw it um, really, really high. And I don't think I can, I don't have that much power. So this is a par four. You gotta play this one smart. You gotta not go for the eagle. You gotta just throw your disc out there and get yourself to a spot where you feel good approaching. So I turn that over way too much, but even so, that's not out of bounds that I can throw a sidearm from there. Um, I'm gonna try my more beat-in rive here and throw it on the same line. So that turned over too, and this is a tailwind, y'all. But if I had thrown that straight, that would have been an eagle look. Okay, so a little bit of a headwind. I'm gonna take the um, Justice and just spike it into the side of the hill there. I think that's the right play. I said to really be careful of that OB right, yeah. So I hit the top of the hill there, which is a little bit dangerous, but that'll be a birdie. So as y'all can see, there's not much room to work with over here for out of bounds. So I would have much rather have landed over here on the hill and stopped. Um, but that's a really good birdie. All right, so hole 11 is 381. A um, little bit of a right to left wind here. So I think I'm gonna take my grace, throw it on a hyzer to the right over the road and just try and crash past the tree, maybe give us a, a birdie look. Yeah, that's money. Appreciate it, bud. All right, so let's throw one more, even though I think the grace will be the play, but obviously, obviously if the wind is different, then we'll have to deal with that, but that's, that's a birdie, so we'll throw this on a hyzer as well. Maybe a little bit bigger. So that one's probably out of bounds. Yeah, that would still work. I think we're going with the grace though. So it looks like they actually moved the basket back from last year. I think it was a little bit closer, um, but this is a really good shot. I am a okay with landing right here. And the other shot gave me a putt too, but it was a little more stable. So I think, I think the grace on a hyzer won't flip over and it'll carry really well for me. It's a good birdie there. So this is a par three 276 with a good bit of out of bounds. I'm going to throw my bounty at the trees on the left and have it pan to the right. Now sit down. Yeah, so that's a really good putt right there. All right, so I actually could have thrown that a little bit harder, but that's kind of scary with these understable discs because how much they turn over. So I might actually throw an EMAC on this one. Um, see what we can do with it. Yeah. Mm. Well, we made the first one. So I can tell how much my game has changed over the last couple of years because, or over the last year, because I remember being so scared to throw this shot um, when I came out last time, but I'm so much more confident in my distance and my ability. We're throwing 325 over these trees. I'm gonna throw my grace. Um, since I'm throwing it so high, I'm gonna try and throw it flat and just let it push. And we're gonna see, I can't even really see the basket, but I kind of remember where it is. So that should be a really good shot, honestly. Oh, um, the tree, I think I have to go past the tree, honestly. I'm not sure though. Yeah, so we're about 30 short here. I think what I might do is throw my, one of my rives on a little bit of Annie because of how high I'm throwing it. I know it'll come back. Um, or I can just throw my grace a little bit harder. And I know that it won't turn over.
Get in. Oh. Yeah? Dang. Okay. Well, now I know that the, the basket is behind this tree, so that'll be good for us. All right, so there's lots of OB on this hole, and there's two plays. There's like a mid-range with an EMAC, which is one of the plays I'm going to throw, and then there's a super wide hyzer um, that we'll throw out this way and let skip, but there is a lot of out-of-bounds, so we just have to keep that in mind. See, that's probably out of bounds. Yeah, so that would be out of bounds. So we want to go super wide here. Maybe I'll go with... So I'm actually going to go with the Ricky Evader here. Super wide. And let it skip to the basket. That's going to even have a bad skip. Or a big skip. That might be in bounds, but we want to avoid that if we can. So this water is so muddy, and that EMAC barely rolled in, and I can't see it. So this one landed good, and I still could work with some more. So I think I might throw my Grace down this sidewalk with a little bit of hyzer, 400 feet of power, and I think we'll end up by the basket, um, which is what we want. Yeah. Get in. Nice. I can't believe I just lost that, man. It didn't even like skip into the water. It rolled in. Emac gave me that one too, so that sucks. It's annoying. I got it. <laughs> Woo! So this hole is 285. I'm gonna walk it for you guys because uh, it's, a, it's a tough one. It's blind, you can't see anything. Lots of OB on the left and the right. And the landing zone uh, isn't even that good. So you got to throw like a, a justice straight or something um, in order to get to the basket. But OB is right next to the basket. So really, you want to play this one smart and just try and land like right here. I'm not going for a birdie on this one. In fact, I would say my play is to land by the drop zone with this justice. So I'm going to aim at this that tree out there on the left with this justice and have it turn right in front of it and I think we'll be in a good spot. It, that didn't turn at all. There we go. So that might be safe. We'll see. So that was not safe. That was the line that I want though, but I have to cut right inside of that and get over here. It, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be tough. It's going to be a really, really tough one. And then even from here, you want to just like jump putt it to give yourself something, but even that's a little intimidating. So I would have to make that for a four. So from here, wow, that was almost too high. That would have been a bogey. Um, with that out of bounds stroke. So even though I was trying to play it safe, I still got a bogey. I feel like this is one of the toughest holes on the course with roll away potential and everything. It's really difficult. All right, so this is a 407 foot smash. I'm gonna throw my grace on a little bit of a hyzer. Um, actually, it's a tailwind, so I might just try and throw it flat here and see if we can get it there. Come on, Tailwind, do your job. Okay, so no, Grace is not the play here. It's gonna be my other, my Rive, my beat-in one. And I'm gonna aim at the basket, but with some Annie. I didn't give that near enough Annie. But, that's either parked or a little bit short. That did not feel like 407 feet of power. So definitely not 407 feet of power, but about 380. Um, I think the grace is still to play, just not flat. On a little bit of hyzer, and it might be able to stand up some. Get in. Oh, really? And then that was a terrible roll. Man. That's, how did it roll that far? 
All right, so this is a part four, 620 feet. Just gonna throw this rive out there. A little bit of ante, not too much OB to worry about. There is some on the left, which is why I'm gonna give it some ante. And it should end up in a good spot for us. Hold that. Now sit down and stay in bounds. All right, that looks like it's good. I'm gonna try a grace as well with a, a little bit wider of a hyzer. Yeah, so either of those plays work. Definitely wanna see how close we are to the OB, but this should be an easy birdie. Yeah, so if I can throw it this far, I'm not really in danger of the out of bounds. Um, I'm probably 200 or so in. I'm gonna take the felon, low skipper, see if we can give ourselves a look at, at the birdie here. Get up there. Yeah, that should be good. So definitely would have loved to have been closer. Um, I could have gone with a little more understable disc or more neutral disc, but this is still fine. Ah, man, I aimed so high there that tailwind pushed that down. And that one, okay. So that would just end up being a par. Frustrating, but it is what it is. <laughs> We've actually played really well, I think. All right, so headwind here. Um, gonna throw the rive. I remember being scared of this shot last year. I don't know if the teapot is in the same spot or if it was back further, but I was scared that I couldn't make it over this water when I feel like I could throw a putter over that right now if I wanted to. That's wild. Okay, so just gonna rip this rive out here, give it some room to work, and be safe for the water. So, see what we can do here. Man, Hedwin turned it over a lot. I wouldn't be out of bounds, but that's not in that good of a position. So, I'm guessing Evader here on a hyzer over the out of bounds pushing that dead tree in the background and cutting in front. Uh, I needed to give that some more air. So I should have uh, measured this one to see how close it was because I probably would have thrown the grace or the rive on a hyzer and pushed uh, the trees a little bit more. But this one, headwind right here, it'll lift it up and we can give this a safe bid. I'll give us a putt. Oh, real close. So that'd be a par. It's totally fine out here. <laughs> 